Sustainability is very important in our project. Our competition is focused on developing Hyperloop and we really want to contribute to a future that is cleaner and a future where we can travel cleanly with the Hyperloop. I think Hyperloop is an excellent example of a disruptor. It would be the first new mode of transportation uh, in well over 100 years and it would allow for things such as living in Amsterdam while working in Paris. And that's something that is not imaginable right now. So in that sense, it's definitely a, a disruptor. Uh, the goal of our project is to inspire people to, to be more sustainable and also to inspire the automotive industry to produce cars that thrive on solar because we think it's possible. The team has always been focused on building very energy efficient and eco-friendly. The time has really shown that it's important for us on this planet to be responsible uh, with our resources and not waste energy. We're here at uh, Trier University of Applied Sciences connect students to the industry. After the first year of uh, study, we focus on student-centered and um, project-based learning methods. The individual projects are often dis interdisciplinary and the tasks are geared to topics of uh, the age of this digitalization. Protron is a project where we develop with the students highly efficient electrical driven cars and we have the focus that we educate the students on problems which are also um, important in the industry set a new focus of development of um, automotive industry. So for the development of our Hyperloop vehicle we rely heavily on the collaboration with partners. As students we don't have all the knowledge to actually build this vehicle so through the collaboration with partners they give us expertise which allows us to build the best Hyperloop vehicle possible. People from the industry they come here to some workshops and so we take part on the development process like it is in the industry. To the experience helps the Hyperloop team work together both in terms of uh, the collaboration aspect and because of the large amount of workbenches. And because all the parts are stored online, it allows for smooth assembly. All different disciplines can work together on the same vehicle uh, at the same time and that allows for, for good collaboration and smooth teamwork. We use the virtual reality capabilities of the 3D experience in our project to get designers and engineers together to review and look at the different parts and products they've designed. Uh, of course it starts within the team because we have many different backgrounds from electrical engineers, mechanical engineers and designers and we really want to put all of their expertise together in this one vehicle. Within the Hyperloop team we work with a team of 38 people from different disciplinary backgrounds. We also have a lot of different nationalities all our different engineers can work together in the same platform. That means our electronics engineers can work on the wiring, whereas our structures engineers can work on the chassis, and you can actually see it come together real time in the same environment. This way we can accelerate our design process in particular. We're also developing a MOOC, which is a massive open online course from which people from all over the world can enter and learn about uh, yeah, what a Hyperloop is, uh, why we think it's the future of transportation. For us, as a métier, the transformation of the industry of the future uh, reflects on, on different aspects. One of them that is quite simple for us is the training on new technologies such as uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, new processes like uh, additive manufacturing. It's very important that we have interdisciplinary working, what you also need in the company data. So we train here, especially in our department, mechanical engineers, but we also educate electrical engineers. We have a computer department. We cooperate with another university where we have design. Student needs import skills like team working, social skills, online global collaboration and uh, lifeline learning. In addition to the normal lectures in the study, um, which are important to learn um, team specific knowledge, practice work in the, in the team help you to promote your self-reliant working and that helps you to uh, start the, your career later. Continuing and academic education are similar when it comes to learning new practices. Our audience is students in our university, educators in many universities and uh, professionals. Continued education is really important for me because several years ago when I was studying civil engineering, building information modeling technologies and data management and 3D experience did not really exist. We include both the digital and the physical aspects of new manufacturing practices in our courses. But for me the most 
challenging aspect our ability to train students to be able to take decision or to give answer uh, based on a mixing of uh, real information and virtual ones. But to stay competitive in this job area, I needed this program to develop some special skills. We accumulated more 10 years advanced experience working together with Dassault System and wanted to make this knowledge our core business. Industry Renaissance come with digital transformation of businesses. Many people think Industry 4.0 is a matter of investment and machine but nothing will happen without knowledge and know-how. That's why we focus on expertise. We want our students armed with this knowledge and our customers ready to adopt these new practices such as collaborative robotics, additive manufacturing.